Hi there and welcome. This is Omar with another awesome SVGs tutorial. Today I'll show you how to vectorize your sketches to create stickers. First of all, I have to say I used a Wacom Cintiq HD tablet to vectorize my images. And those images are illustrated on real paper with a pencil. I still don't feel comfortable illustrating directly on my computer, so that's why I illustrate on paper. I then scan, scan my, my sketches on my Epson scan at 300 ppi resolution and bring them into Adobe Illustrator. On Adobe Illustrator, I always use Astute Graphics plugins, mainly PathScribe, Vector First Aid, and Dynamic Sketch. These plugins are definitely not cheap plugins, but they are totally worth the money. They have a free trial in case you want to try them out. So just go to astutegraphics.com and check them out. Now in Illustrator, I create a new document. I uh, It doesn't matter the size that you work on because we will be changing this later. Um, but just make sure to work on CMYK color mode. Now bring your scans into your artboard. Put them on a single layer, straight them out and change the layer to a template layer. That way it will be blocked and kind of light. Um, it it kind of lightens the color so you can see better what you're doing. Then using the brush tool, I start painting and following my sketch. This is a three point width brush with variable width of uh, 24%. And I kind of start following my sketch. If you kind of, if, if you sometimes get those um, weird edges that Illustrator does, just move some points and remove others, and it'll be fine. Now keep working until all your image is vectorized. Now, once you have done have gone over all your sketch, um, go to Object and Expand Appearance. Then go to Object, Expand, and that will um, render all your lines as shapes. Then, um, holding Alt on your keyboard, click on Unite, and that will make a single compound shape. And then you can just adjust some of the anchor points. Do the same for all the remaining um, images on your sketch. I will just uh, speed up the video so we can get to the white out outline part. Now, considering the Cricut Design Space allows you to print in a max size of 9.25 by 6.75 inches, I always create a new artboard with those measurements and divide it in four. So I have four sections that I use to create uh, sticker sheets. This will create four sticker sheets. And it's great for printing and for carrying them on your planner. Now rearrange all the images on the space that you have available. Kind of rotate them and center them on that piece. Do not create the white outline yet. Because if you um, if you create the outline and then scale your image, the some of the images will have outlines of a different width. Now, once you have uh, rearranged your images, select them all and go to Object Path Offset Path and create a round offset path 
of 0.02 inches. With the paths that you just created selected, change the colors so they are um, easier to see. And here you can see they are all with a lot of anchor points and we want to get rid of some of them. That uh, For that we will use a Victor First Aid to remove most of the points and then we will um, use the dynamic corners to kind of round them up. That way it's easier to cut them. Now we want to remove all those little um, holes that the stickers have inside. So we will just select them all and change the size so they fit our canvas or our piece that we that we have to work on. Group all your offset paths, select them all and group them. And now isolate each path, select the whole path, holding shift, click on the outer shape and then click on or, or press um, delete on your keyboard. Refine some of the edges and do the same for all the paths. Isolate the path, select the whole shape, hold a shift and click on the outer shape and delete the rest of the paths. Remove any inner shapes that might interfere with your um, cutting. And now make sure your outlines don't touch. And now you can change them to white. Remove any guides that you have and open the um, assets panel, the export assets, and holding shift, drag them into the export pa panel. I always like to export my images in two different formats, one that is three times the size that I'm creating, and one that it's um, just 100% uh, of the size I'm, I'm working on. That way, if um, my speed connection is not too fast. I can always upload them uh, faster on Design Space. My quality will not be the same though, but um, it loads faster in case I just want to print them um, real fast. Now here are your images that you will then import into Design Space. One that is small and the other one that is a lot larger because it's three times the first one. Here you can see that the um, edges are very sharp, so it won't pixelate if you if you scale that up. And that's pretty much it. That's my process. Then this PNG file you can import into Design Space and create your stickers. If you need more information on the plugins, let me know in the comments below. I hope you find some inspiration on this video. Remember that this file will be will be available at my blog www.awesomesvgs.com in case you want to download it. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.